Today I'm gonna to show you how to tie the perfection loop, which is a loop knot that I use for about 95% of my fishing over the past 10 years. And it is the knot that caught all of these fish. All right, now in this video, I show you multiple times how to tie this knot. So fear not if on the first pass you don't get it. So I'll show you how to tie it to her paws. I show you how I tie it up the swivels. And then most importantly, I show you how I tie up the perfection loop to circle hooks. All right, let's get after it. Demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use 50 pound fluorocarbon, which is way overkill for these small uh, Rapalas, but it'll definitely help uh, you learn the, the knot uh, a lot better. All right, so first thing we do is we got our bitter end. Take the bitter end, we're gonna wrap it behind the standing end, and we're gonna pinch our thumb and our index finger together to make a loop. Now I'm gonna pull the bitter end down and we're gonna tighten that loop up right about there. Now I'm gonna take the eye of the lure, insert it into the loop like that, holding the lure with my middle finger. I'm gonna take the bitter end, I'm gonna pass it through the eye. Now I gotta send it through the hole in my hand, wrap it around behind, so over the top and behind the standing end. The standing end. And I kinda use my thumb and my pointer finger to kinda hold it in place. So I just pulled it around the standing end. So there's my bitter end and there's the standing end. And I'm just gonna tighten up that second loop. Now I got two big loops. I got a loop in front and I got a loop behind. The loop up front is going through the eye of the lure. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bitter end and we're gonna split the two loops, just like that. We're gonna pull the bitter end tight and we're gonna wedge it between our thumb and our pointer finger. And now all we gotta do is take our Rapala which is currently connected to the, uh, the loop on the left, and we're just gonna pull that loop through the loop on the right. Now I'm gonna take uh, my right pointer finger, I'm gonna apply pressure to the bitter end, and we're just gonna pull the knot tight together, just like that, and there you go. Now for demonstration purposes, I made that loop uh, bigger so that it would be easier to see. All right, let's go ahead and make the loop smaller. So I like the smallest loop possible. That way my entire like package um, looks small in terms of not to lure. So we make the loop and the, the smaller you make the loop, the smaller the entire like knot package will be. So I try to make it as small as possible. This is gonna be about maxed out. <laughs> so we're gonna keep that lure in there. We're gonna pass the bitter end through we're gonna wrap it back behind the standing end using my thumb and my pointer finger to apply tension. We're gonna tighten the, the secondary loop that we just made and then we're gonna split the two loops. Oh, I myself the hook. So you can tell it gets more difficult the smaller it gets. There we go. I'm gonna push the better end through. So now it's splitting the loop on the left and the loop on the right. And now we're gonna pull our lure through. I'm just kind of using these two fingers down here. I'm kind of pulling the standing in tight. And this is making my loop super tight. Boom. Look how much smaller that loop is now. So that is a very, I keep saying package. <laughs> but that is a very discreet knot package. Now this is 50 pounds, so it's huge. That's purely for demonstration purposes. But that is very discreet loop. So. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with eight pound. All right, here we got our tiny eight pound line. We're gonna make our loop. Oh, I got a little knot there, cut that off. So we're gonna take our line, we're gonna pass the bitter end behind the standing end, make our loop. We're gonna make that loop small, right about there. We're gonna pass in our Rapala. 
bitter end goes through, back and around the standing end. And now we gotta split the two loops, just like that. We tighten up our loops. Oh, we jump the, I already jumped the lure. No, it actually works out well. And we tighten it. And there you have it. So that is a very small, discreet knot. Never really had these knots fail. They work fantastic. Um, like I said, I've caught all my fish in the past 10 years with uh, this knot. Now when I'm out trolling for rainbows, I like to use the smallest swivel I can find. And that way, I have a much greater and quicker range of lure options. So without having to retie knots, I can just tie on a swivel to my leader using the perfection knot. And that will allow me to change between a spoon and a Rapala. You know, when I'm searching through lures and seeing what, what's, what's the hot bite for the day. And what you want, you want swivels for spoons because spoons spin out there. And if you didn't have a swivel, um, your line wouldn't be able to compensate for all the twist. And so you'd get really bad line twist. So swivels are a great, great way to prevent line tw twist. And it allows you to swap out lures on the fly super quickly. So I'll run this most of the time when I'm out trolling for trout. So what you have is the perfection knot, which creates a nice loop. And then you got your swivel. And I can put all types of baits on here. So I don't have to retie a knot every time I want to change my lure. And these also work out great when you have a crankbait with a huge bill. Because doing the perfection knot on this is a lot harder. But with the swivel, you can just pop pop that loop on the swivel, a little bit harder with the camera, boom, there we go, tighten it down. And this is a fantastic trolling option, and I've caught a lot of fish using this. All right, arguably the best use of the perfection knot is with circle hooks for running live bait in the saltwater flats or out in the ocean. And what that does is that allows the live bait to have complete and natural range of motion while connected to your line. So, just like the lures, probably easier than the lures, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our loop, tighten it down, Pass the eye of the hook through the loop. Bitter end goes through the eye of the hook, back around the standing end. And what we have here is the loop on the left and the loop on the right. We take the bitter end, split the two loops. Tighten it up, hold it between our thumb and our index finger. Take the hook, use our middle or pointer finger, and we're just gonna create the loop, pull it through. And when it comes to live bait fishing, it is hard to beat this setup. You just put a green back or a shiner on there pinfish, throw a pinfish on this, holy cow. Throw a pinfish on that and just free line it. And uh, you can catch a lot of fish with this rig. And like, your bait just has free range of motion. So yeah, that is Perfection Knot. Thanks for stopping by. This past week has been super busy um, with my regular day job. So I figure I would throw something out and why not make it the most 
useful and preferred knot that I've ever used. All right, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you guys get out and go fish. We'll see you later. Bye.